Good afternoon, everybody. I thought we'd make some uh, peanut butter cookies with some Hershey's Kisses since I had some left over, also known as peanut butter blossoms. Another easy cookie recipe to do. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 350. Get out your baking sheet. I line it with uh, some parchment paper, your cooling rack. And you're gonna need one stick of butter, and then you're gonna need a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of peanut butter. Um, I'm just using what I have on hand right now, which happens to be creamy Peter Pan. And then you're gonna want an egg at room temperature, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a third cups of flour. All right, then afterwards, you're gonna need your powdered sugar and figure about 18 or so Hershey's Kisses, okay? And just take the paper right off them. And I've just got mine sitting here in a bowl because we're not gonna put them on until the cookies are completely baked. And then when we take them out of the oven, that's when we'll put them on, okay? So we got everything ready. Now we're gonna first cream our butter and our sugars. So I already have one stick of butter already in the bowl, a half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar, and a half a cup of peanut butter. All right. Well, let's get that all down there and get blended. And if you need to scrape down the side of your bowl, don't forget. Which I'm going to do right now. Boy, we've been getting so much rain every day. Rain, rain, and rain. Seems strange though, this time of the year, and I haven't any snow. Okay, now we can add our egg. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we can add our flour, one and a third cups, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Stir that up. But if you just make the regular peanut butter cookies and you just take a fork and you put it in a little bit of flour and then um, after you get your ball of cookie dough rolled out and onto your baking sheet and you just take your fork, dip it in flour and then just go across the round cookie and press down one way and then back in the flour and go back and do it the other way so it's like a crisscross pattern. You don't have to use the um, Hershey's Kisses if you don't want to. Okay, just gonna get some of that dough off the paddle. All right, we well, can really smell that peanut butter. Okay. Get what you can off the paddle. I haven't had a peanut butter cookie in a while. That's gonna taste really good for a change. The grandkids have been wanting 
some different cookies lately, so when they get home from school, I'll surprise them. I already did up a, a batch of the pistachio cookies. In fact, you could even put a Hershey's Kiss in them. All right. Move that out of the way. Make sure everything is scraped down and blended well. Okay, there's your peanut butter dough. All right, now get your baking sheet. And my good old trusty <laughs> cookie dough scooper, which is my tablespoon. All right. And I would say, oh, well, you can make them as big as you wanted to, but probably a good one inch in size, I think is good. Now you can also roll them in some powdered sugar instead of white sugar. Okay, that's in the powdered sugar. And we'll do one and the white sugar. Okay, just roll it around. Okay, now what you want to do, all right, so I did one in the powdered sugar and I did one also in the white sugar. Now what you want to do is take your thumb and go down on the top, okay, and just press down. What you're doing is making a little indentation. So when your cookies are done baking and you bring them out while they're still warm, you want to have it so you have it a spot, see, that the cookie, or I mean, the Hershey's Kiss can set up in, all right? So just do that to them all. Remember, your oven's at 350 degrees, and, oh gosh, you want to bake it, I think, like, maybe 10 minutes or so. You can pretty much tell when they're done, okay? Um, I'll get back to you when the cookies are baked and show you what they look like. Okay, it took like 13 minutes to bake the cookies and I got a total of 24 cookies about this size okay all right now I just took this batch out of the oven just took them out and all you do is you take your your Hershey's chocolate kiss and just set them right in just like that while they're nice and warm was really fast. You got exactly out the amount that you needed. All right. And that's that. Now you want to let them sit, like I said, on your baking sheet for a few minutes. Don't try and take your spatula or anything and, and move them to the wire rack or anything to finish cooling, okay? These here, obviously, were already done, so I could pick them up and show you the bottoms and all that, okay? And that's it. And if you missed my other video, this is on the white chocolate chip pistachio cookies. They're really good. That's it, everyone. Until my next video, you all take care. Have a great afternoon, and uh, God bless you. Bye-bye.